Seven on Seven Football. You've seen the game. Big time competition and players making a name for themselves. We wanted to break it down with some basic questions beyond the highlight. So, first question. There are tournaments across the country. Why come to Colorado? So basically we came from Houston, Texas, all the way to Colorado, just to play 7-on-7 seven seven for this tournament. A lot of guys, they get stuck thinking that you know, Washington is all there is, or you know, Texas is all there is, but now they get to go outside of their comfort zone, get to go outside of their state, go and compete, and see what's actually out there. You may think that because I'm the best kid in the neighborhood, or I'm the best kid in Denver, that I'm going to be the best in the country. Well, there's a reality where you face somebody who's from Washington, or somebody who's from uh, California, or even somebody who's from North Denver. Get us to play really hard against teams, against elite players, elite 11 quarterbacks out here to get you to understand football is everywhere and to get, get reps and get better. They get to see there are other kids out there competing for that exact same scholarship. So they not only do they have to step up academically, they have to step up their, their game on the field and ensure that their skill set is up to par. So how is 7-on-7 seven seven used for developing players? Like Coach AJ, he's new, but he did a great job helping me work on my footwork, which was huge for me. They're learning a lot of different techniques. They're learning how to read different defenses. You don't understand what you're playing, what position you play, and where you execute it on a player. It gives people more knowledge of reading coverages and running routes. Seven on seven, especially the way it's been organized and allowed these kids to stay in football, especially their minds, um, especially the defensive secondary and, and, and the wide receivers and quarterbacks. I mean, there's nothing better than to get out here without being chased around by defensive linemen. Even if I even if I lose a rep, I get beat by another man. I don't I don't hang my head. I tell him, I ask myself, what did he do to beat me? You got to improve your game, to take other people's tips and tricks, and put it into your toolbox. And this is a quick representation of look, are your skills up to par? Because most high schools run the football more than the majority of the game, so you get an opportunity now to throw the ball to 20. 30 times a game and get that experience in. So what's your experience competing in Colorado? Way better than I expected. At first I didn't know anybody from Colorado, but now like I understand. Oh, it's, it's amazing for these guys to be able to travel outside of their, their comfort zone, get to Colorado, and getting to go on co college campuses, meet up with coaches that, some of the coaches that have offered you know, many of our guys. Like Colorado is my first time here, so I've seen mountains, I've seen more snow than I have before. It's just like seeing different things and different people in different ways of life. Culture, they get to experience another culture, they get to come to different areas and see, see the world. When, when they're with their high schools, that's not an option. So they get to, to experience another culture and hopefully help themselves grow a little bit. It's hot. It's hot and like dry. Every time I was running my routes, my throat was like all chalked up. It was, it was fun though. It was a good little experience. We got to play a couple teams that we've never seen before. Um, teams traveling from out of state coming here. It's a great competition. There's a ton of great athletes out here, a ton of competition. Helps me compete with the athletes at my at my high school. If you want to be the best, you got to play with the best. And I think that's what we did today. We bring we bring the best from the country around, and we bring them here to our own state. And I think it's very important for kids from Colorado to see that because a lot of times it's just the people around you, and the people around you may not be the best. So it's very important to see that. Is seven on seven relevant? You know, it allows us to really get rolling, uh, especially for me. I got teammates on, the t on my team, so you know, get some chemistry back up from last season. So it really does help. 707 itself allows for quarterbacks to see different coverages, to see different talents, to play against different teams in different areas that they wouldn't naturally see with their high school. 707 is a vast value. The kids get the opportunity to hone in on their skills, they stay in shape, they stay off the street, and they get to travel. At that D2 level, the college level is way faster. So just doing a little 7 on 7 here and there definitely got me more prepared. They take what they do in the off season and apply it to the high school season. Whatever level you're playing past high school, um, college or NFL, there's a seven on seven period. And not only is there a seven on seven period in practice, but they film it and they, they grade it. How is seven on seven improved? Well, I just think the organization, the professionalism that, that's kind of come in, you can see this tournament, we've got folks from Seattle and Texas and Kansas City. It's been, it's been growing a lot. Like when I started in eighth grade, it was like not as popular, but like now, it's slowly getting across the nation. It's now more college institutions are having 707 camps. All right, so they're recognizing that these boys who are coming uh, out of 707 groups are a little bit ahead of the curve when they get to college. It kind of grew to where it's like, okay, now we're working on all, all our skills, our fundamental sets, our reps. It's, it's definitely growing. Um, there's teams that I haven't, I've never seen when I played, um, and more competition. Definitely. So I know nationally, it's even getting bigger. So it is, it's not a lot of 
freestyle. It's really organized now, and it's really like real schemes. Defenses are real defenses. There's no made up routes. There's time limits for the snap counts and the QB, so it makes it realistic, so they're not just sitting back there for 10 seconds. Level. So that's why it's so important to have things like this. You see the passing game get a lot better, and the whole game of football, as just in general, gets better because of seven on seven. Why is it important to have a seven on seven tournament in Colorado? The competition is very high here. Uh, Colorado pulls the west side of the country, and it's just different competition. You know, because I guess we don't have the same rep as some of the states like California, or Texas, or Florida, you know. And uh, but we got we got athletes. Um, I love everything about it. I love seeing young guys where you know in the same shoes I was 15 years ago. You know, playing football and having fun. So that's why I love being out here. Well, it's just a lot of fun. You get to see kids from all over the state, and uh, we've got six great quarterbacks on the team. And you know, if I didn't have this opportunity, I wouldn't get a chance to coach these guys. Get them against some of these guys, you know, with no pads, of course, but to see where they where they stand, where they match up. Their confidence builds and they begin to raise their level of play from being out here. We're used to seeing what other Colorado teams have. I think it's just great to be able to work with other kids other than your high schools. We didn't end up where we wanted to, but hey, it was fun. And um, I think a lot of the kids were able to benefit from it.